question number 171. Restriction endonucleases were used by Cohen and Boyer's DNA experiments for cleaving bacterial plasmids, isolation of humulin, production of monoclonal antibodies. So here cleaving bacterial plasmids is correct as restriction endonucleases digest DNA at specific palindromic sequences. Isolation of humulin, this is incorrect as humulin is genetically engineered insulin. Number three, uh, production of monoclonal antibodies, this is also incorrect as monoclonal antibodies are produced by hybridoma technology thus over here the function of restriction endonucleases is only a so the correct answer is option number two that is a only moving ahead to the next question question number 172 let us read the question one linear and one closed circular dna molecule is digested with same restriction enzyme recognizing a unique site occurring once in each here students this is one linear dna strand and this is one circular dna strand the question says that these are digested with the same restriction enzyme recognizing a unique site so same site right occurring once in each in the linear dna also only once it is occurring in the circular dna also only once it is occurring how many fragments will be obtained respectively so here when the restriction endonuclease digests it the linear dna is going to break into two parts like this so how many fragments are formed? Two fragments. Whereas over here, when restriction endonuclease digests this one, the circular DNA opens up into a linear DNA. So how many fragments are formed? Only one fragment is formed. So here the correct answer should be two and one. So the correct answer is option number two. Moving ahead to the next question. Question number 173. Choose the incorrect match. Number 1. Insertional inactivation of LAC Z gene. The LAC Z gene codes for beta galactosidase with the help of which we can do the blue white screening of transformants and non transformants. So, this is a correct match. Number 2. Ethidium bromide staining of DNA. This is also a correct match as ethidium bromide can stain DNA and then it can be viewed under UV radiations. Number three, batch culture, continuous exponential phase. Now this is incorrect as a continuous exponential phase is maintained in continuous culture. Batch culture is a closed system whereas continuous culture is an open system in which the contents are continuously added and the product is continuously retrieved. Number 4, TAC polymerase is obtained from Thermus aquaticus. This is a thermostable enzyme which is obtained from this thermophilic bacterium. So this is also correct. So the incorrect match is option number 3. Moving ahead with the next question. Question number 174. The bird flu causing virus is? Let us see the options. H5N1 is the correct answer as H5N1 causes bird flu. Also called avian flu. Number 2. Haemophilus influenzae. This is incorrect as Haemophilus influenzae is the causative agent of pneumonia. 
Number three, rhinovirus is also incorrect as rhinovirus is the causative agent of common cold. And number four, H1N1 is also incorrect as this is the causative agent of swine flu. So the correct answer is option number one. Moving on to the next question. Question number 175. Select the option representing only correct matches. Hisar Dale Punjab, this is correct as Hisar Dale has been developed by crossbreeding Merino Rams and Bikaneri Ewes. And it has been developed in Punjab. Two scout bees dancing movements. This is also a correct match as scout bees are the bees which find the source of food and then carry out dances in order to communicate it to the fellow bees. Number three, Shatush Kashmiri goat. This is an incorrect match as Shatush is obtained from Chiru. Number four, Pashmina from rabbit. This is also incorrect as Pashmina is obtained from Kashmiri goat. And rabbit is the source of Angura wool. So the correct matches are only 1 and 2. So the correct answer becomes option number 2. Moving on to the next question. Mm -hmm.